coming up on Sizzles. Now, I mean, um, the, 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 their outfits and most of the things that they, they are doing in their current videos are not the same as, you know, were 10 years ago. 10 years yeah. ago. But right here in Ghana, it is, it is not like that. People are expecting us to, you know, wear those like um, uh, big, big hair gears, no makeup, you know, and they feel that that is what uh, depicts holiness. your holiness. <laughs> Welcome everyone to another exciting episode of Sizzles and I'm your host Sarah Sings. I promise you today's show will be unforgettable with my amazing guest in the house. But before we get into the show, let me thank my sponsors for today. Today my outfit was provided by Hall of Peters located in Kukumlimle. You can contact them on 0244-273-991. Again, 0244-273-991. Nine nine one. Also, our in-house catering services is provided by D Savory, located in Dansuman, Accra. And you can contact them for all your catering needs on 020-826-5038. 826-5038 and our quality sound of course is provided by Elogia Studios. You can contact them for all your musical needs. They can be reached on 020-400-4028. Elogia Studios located in Pokwase can be reached on 020-400-4028. Our in-house production crew is the best the best you can find and work with thick line production and you can contact them on 055-710-5445 again their contact number is 055-710-5445 today's show promises to be exciting and i cannot wait for you to be a part of it let's check out the profile of our guest for today jemima anoyeboa better known by the stage name Jayana, a Ghanaian contemporary gospel singer, songwriter, and CEO of Jayana Beauty Academy, a philanthropist, and the second daughter of the late Bishop Dr. Anoyeboa of Christian Praise International Center, CPIC. She began her ministry exploits after the hit Ghanaian musical talent show, Stars of the Future Season 1. She won the Best Female Vocalist of the Year at the Ghana Urban Gospel Music Awards Kukma in 2021 and the Best Contemporary Song of the Year at the Ghana National Gospel Music Awards, among other prestigious laureates. the show everyone and today I have the single honor to have an amazing amazing woman of God in the studio with me today I am so excited to meet her personally for the first time but I know we're gonna learn so much more about her Jayana hi welcome to Sizzle <laughs> thank you thank you oh my god I think before we, we we came on set I was just telling you how radiant you look I love your makeup oh I love your makeup mm. I'm blushing. I mean, I mean, you're glowing, you're glowing, you're glowing. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome Thank again. You. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thank how you. you been? I've been good. Everything good? Super. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so how's ministry? I'm just going to go right in. How, how's, <laughs> how's ministry? How's ministry um, going? Ministry is fine. Um, I mean, we, we are still enjoying God's grace and mercy and... Um, uh, it's been amazing. Uh, the journey has been awesome since day one. And um, I would say that I give all glory to God and all for how far he has brought me. Yeah. We thank God for that. And, and how long have you been doing music solely? I know you have. Hey, it's other, been long ago. I don't even do it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you have other businesses as well. But like, how long have you really been in the mm. ministry and how has it 
transitioned over time like right. you know yeah um it started way back um in uh, sunday school that was uh my former church uh cac mm -hmm. Um, I remember I I started a, a, a choir, like a um, children's choir. Oh, you started yeah. the choir? Yes, I did. I started tell way me, back. Tell me more. Tell me <laughs> way more. back, you know, you know, when you have a gift yeah. and you know you can do something, the, the thing is like, I was born with it, you know, and um, I felt like I could do it. Mm -hmm. So I remember way back then I told my dad that I wanted to do something and he was like, okay, fine, if you want to. So I, I came up with a choir, it grew, you know, and um, later on I had to join the adult choir and uh, I transitioned from there to the adult choir. You know, I started uh, leading songs and yeah, I've been doing it till now. So how old were you when you started the choir? I was, uh, I was between 10, 11. You were born for this. I tell you. Born ready, born I, leader, like I, even at I that age, you. like putting groups together. <laughs> yes, yes. Wow. Yes, so you yes. transitioned to the adult choir. Right. But how did you get into mainstream gospel? Um, I went for a competition um, called Stars of the Future. Yeah. That was in 2000 and between 2006, seven. Yes, that was the maiden edition of Stars of the Future, which had the lights of uh, Irene Logan, Ifia now. Mm -hmm. Uh, she was uh, Jaina Window then, okay. now she's a fear, yeah. and then uh, Ramsey and a couple of them. And um, I had the opportunity to, you know, go through all the, the stages, all the steps, and uh, God being so good, I was part of the finalist, and uh, right. I didn't win. I didn't win, but I mean... So you were already a winner back then when you were starting the choir. Yes, were, you were yes, a back then. yes, yes. Wow, I didn't wow, win, wow. but, you know, it was uh, an experience for me. And I had a lot of exposure, you know. Yeah. We're given a lot of tasks to do. And I know that that has also built me up to be what I am today. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. So I, I know your dad. Your dad is, like, very, very well known yeah. here in Ghana. Yeah. A blessed memory. Yeah. Um, but would you say it's it's a family affair? Because I know you have yeah, your yeah. sister Eduhema. Yeah, she is also one of the best. An amazing, <laughs> an amazing um, minstrel of God. She sings so well, yes. and my father sings as well. My mom yes. sings. Uh, my siblings, we all sing, and we even call ourselves the um, the Jackson Five. I know about five. Uh huh. We sing, we sing in parts. When we, we we sing and we do our harmonies and all that, you'll be amazed. Wow. Ah, treble kakra, also kakra, tena kakra, bass kakra. Uh huh. <laughs> it's like a, a cocktail, so to speak. Yeah. Of, wow. Wow. Yeah. So how like growing up? What were some of the memories you had with the family singing together? Um, were you singing together in church? Most yeah, of the yeah, time? yeah. We do. We sing uh, um, during like events, you know, like harvest times. Um, Children's choir, you mm -hmm. know, we're called to, you know, sing and all that. And we, we, we're doing pretty good. Amazing, mm -hmm. amazing. Now, you come from, a, you know, a family of girls. Or mm -hmm. You have sisters, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, bringing that to the gospel music industry, ministry, have you had the opportunity to work with other women in gospel as well? I know you've been um, a part of women in uh, worship. Yes. How yes. has that experience been for you? Um, honestly, uh, the first time I was given the opportunity to sing or stand on that stage, for me, was like everything, you know, because looking at the industry and the kind of talents that we have right here in Ghana, for, uh, for me to get that opportunity to, you know, bless the hearts of, you know, the, the, the children of God was like everything for me. And um, I give God all the glory you know, and I, I ministered, I did what I had to do, mm -hmm. you know, why I was sent to, uh, there to do, I did exactly that. And, um, I, I, after the program, I had a lot of people, you know, um, following me on Instagram, you know, sending me messages about how, you know, they were impacted, uh, through my ministration wow. and, um, it's, it's been good. It's been amazing. How did that? How did that come about? Did you just get a call one day from? Yeah, I, I I got a call. I was I was shocked. I oh, was surprised. Wow. I was happy. You know, like mixed feeling. You know, for like I said, we have a lot of talents in Ghana. So mm -hmm. for for me to be called, you know, out of the lot yeah. was like 
like mind so, blowing. So that means like uh, people are watching. Yeah. Whatever you're yeah, doing. and it, it taught me something. Yeah. You know, sometimes like sometimes I even tell my manager, I'm like, manager, are we? Do what are we doing? I feel like we're not doing, we're anything. Not doing anything. But immediately you go out there, you know. And you meet people, you know, people, they, like, they start coming to you to, sometimes they mention my name, and I'm like, hey, okay, do you name me? Hey, okay. <laughs> you know, and it's, it's been good. Wow, you mm. just got the call randomly, mm. and then you got to be a part of it as well. Yes. But do you yes. think um, women in the gospel music industry are working together as much as we should? Because I, I think, you know, we could mm. do better, both with, with those that are here mm. in Ghana, and those that are outside the country as well, mm -hmm. in terms of collaborations and mm -hmm. working together. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I think it's, it's amazing. But uh, for me, I feel that the number is huge. You know, mm -hmm. uh, the people in the industry are a lot. And uh, you can say that you can, you, you know everybody, you know. So as and when you meet somebody, for me, that's what I do. Okay. I try as much as possible to connect you know, try as much as possible to create links wherever uh, or whenever I am given the opportunity to, um, you know, minister anywhere. And honestly, it has helped me a lot. I have come in contact with a lot of um, ministers, both male and female. Um, talk of uh, Joyce Blessing, uh, PSA Esther, you know, Ife Grace, you know, and uh, a couple of them. Yeah, but I'm, I'm seeing more so that the men tend to collab a lot more than the women. You know women now. <laughs> it's on the first Do you share the same sentiments? You know, I, I feel like the men are always doing projects together. Akesa will feature Joe. Mm -hmm. Emoji will feature Joe. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't see as much collaborations with um, women. I think with time it will work. Oh. But for me, I feel it's, it's like a woman's thing. Aside uh, ministry... You know, aside, aside, <laughs> aside, no, on the real, aside yeah. ministry, when it comes to women, we, we, we don't connect like that. We usually mm. connect with people that we already know no. until I come close to you and you know my personality. You yeah. will never come to me. But you know, men, they don't really, just, men are like free. They have other, that free spirit. Free spirit. Yeah, they, free, they, they flow with each other and all that. But um, I, I'm sure with time, uh, it will, it will. Pick up. Don't, don't I am doing me. that. I have started that. Yeah. So okay. I'm sure that a lot, uh, some of us will, you know, start to follow that trend. Yeah, and I think this this, this show is also another opportunity for us to of get course, connected. And of course. of course, we can do many, many I'm things. I'm connected, you know. I'm connected. Physically, spiritually. I'm connected. We're connected. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm coming to you for the face beat and everything. Ah, I, I love it. I love thank it. Thank you. So thank that you. leads me to the next thing I want to talk about, mm. right? Ministry and work okay mm -hmm. i think tell me if you agree with me but mm -hmm. when it comes to sponsoring your ministry is that are you the sole, sole sponsor of your ministry yes you, you at, finance everything at yourself. the moment yes yes and you're mm -hmm. able to do that from your other businesses yes yes so exactly. then would you advise someone to go into full-time ministry um I will, depending on your strength, if you have the resources to um, support whatever that you're doing. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But if you don't have the resources, honestly, before God and man, you'll be frustrated. Yeah. Because everything that you do is like, it's capital intensive. From the studio so. to um, promotion mm -hmm. to um, your outfits, you know, moving from um, one event to the so other. Nice. God, it's not easy. When you wear clothes, it's like you can't even repeat it because you I, use I it for you. that music video and everybody yeah. knows that dress so And much. the same people will criticize. <laughs> as in when you saw Shatari, yeah. I, as I tell you, I stand there quoting to you. Last week, or show, but not just Shatari, so I can't repeat. It's not easy. So honestly, if you have the resources to you know, push yourself, you can go ahead. But if you don't, I would advise that maybe you look you look for um, a team, maybe a manager, somebody to just, you know, support you. Maybe family and friends. Right. Mm -hmm. But, Jenna, you've been doing this for a long time. Yeah. How come up to this point you don't have, like, sponsors? People that would sponsor your music or your events? Okay, so... Is it um, that hard to get sponsorship? Honestly, it's hard. But um, at the moment... Um, I have uh, a lot of people, 
you know, that here uh, uh, support me here and there. When I have, you know, an event coming up, mm -hmm. um, they support me greatly, you know, um, when it comes to, like, uh, my, my music, when I have to go to the studio. I, I have, they are not, like, officially there, you know, but I have great men, you know, great men and women behind the scenes, okay. you know, pushing the, the ministry. Okay, yeah. so, you know, friends and family and, you know, people that support your ministry. Yes, yeah. Wow. Yeah. But it's not official, but okay. I have people, you know, great men out there, like my pillar, you know, that supports what I do. Outside of that, so no one has even approached you to try to, you know, sponsor you, your event? I've, I've, like I've had a couple of uh, approaches, like people, they've contacted me, but at the end of the day, it is not just about them coming to me. Mm -hmm. I, I feel that whatever that I'm doing is spiritual. Yes. And I need to find that person that understands me and um, who understands my ministry. Mm -hmm. There's not really, yeah, the money is, is oh yeah, you know, but you need to, you know, find that person that the yeah. vibe, that vibe, you know, you need to get that that's, vibe. That's a great point. And that's like, I think you're really say, yeah, 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 yeah. Because <laughs> no, you, you, you put it out of me. I was going to ask you, but let's, let's spend another minute or two talking about this topic. Okay. okay. Because oh, you don't want to muddy the waters, yeah. right? Like you said, someone you connect with spiritually and all of those Physically, things. everything. Actually, you need the money. We do. We need the money. We and do. this person has come and they want mm -hmm. to, like, they have the money to sponsor your event. Like, or be on your Christian. If someone mm. who's not Christian mm. comes to you and they want to sponsor mm. your event, okay, what would you do? The first question that I will ask the person is why? Why do you want to? I mean, yes, you have the money, mm -hmm. but I need to find out why you want to invest in me. Mm -hmm. Because they say, we are you. You know, ha, somebody might true. come with his own intention. And I need to find out because this is ministerial work. Mm -hmm. It is not just an ordinary, you know, like any performance or any kind of business. Yeah. We are trying to impact and win souls for Christ. So I need to make sure that whatever that I'm doing, it is not just about you investing in me and taking your money back, but you need to understand the ministry, understand whatever, where I stand. And then we can pick it from there. And aside that, I have a team that I'm working with. So most of the times I don't make my own decisions. We sit down and then we discuss and then we pray about it. And, you know, business-wise, we make sure that whatever that we are putting down, you know, is for the best and uh, for, the, for the ministry as well. And, and that's, that's very well said in a sense of you you know, having a team right. and getting to make decisions with your team. Exactly. Okay, so I am pushing it a little bit further, right? Because mm. I was recently having a conversation with someone okay. and they were of the opinion that mm. it doesn't matter where the money is coming from. If you keep the end goal in mind, mm. say the person sponsoring the program is not Christian, right? Yeah. They're a businessman. Mm -hmm. And they're like, okay, this lady is, she has a beautiful gift. She's beautiful. She's powerful. She's anointed and all of these things, right? Yeah. I would just want to sponsor her. Okay. Would you look at the end goal that at the end of the day, souls are going to be won for, for God. And so I'll take the money and do the concert or the project. And then let God do his work. Mm -hmm. Would you do that? Um, that's, that's why um, we, you, we have your team. Mm -hmm. That's when your team comes in to make those decisions for you. It is not right. you as an your individual. You're just an okay. artist. You are, you are a minstrel of God. Your duty is to fast, pray, write songs, impact lives with your ministration. You leave the rest of the business um, side to your team to handle. I mean, when we, you're going to host an event, yeah. um, you don't personally you know, do certain things. It's your team that handles it. When you're going to look for the tabias and some of these companies, I mean, you go there as an artist, but most of the the, the, the business the talk, business talk yeah. is your team. Okay. So I, that's why I said earlier that it's good that at least you, you get one or two people, you know, like a team, a group of people, you know, working with you. So that, I mean, when it comes to these things, you don't um, personally, you know, deal with them. You just leave it to your team and then you relax. And how did you find your team? How did I find a team? Yeah. Um, God brought them to me. But for my manager, I, I called him 
I personally reached out to him okay. that I needed to work with him. So he's because, someone you knew in the past. Yes, I knew, I knew, I knew in the past, but he wasn't my friend. Okay. But I, I observed him for for some time, mm. and I realized that he was like he was hard working. You know, anytime we go for an event, I see him. You know, running around helter skelter, trying to you know make sure that everything, everything is, is in smoking. order. Yes, yeah. and. Um, I just prayed about it, and one day I decided to give him a call. So we sit down and we, we talked, and we've been like best friends since. Wow, yeah, that's awesome. It's it's great to have a, a team. It 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 helps everything run. Smooth. It takes a lot. Yeah. It takes a lot of you know stress and burden of your shoulders. Of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get ready to wrap up this this segment. Okay. I'm, I'm enjoying our conversation. I wish we could save. Just talk, yeah, talk, 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 talk. yeah. Maybe we should just have lunch. This. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think I'm seeing a lot of this happening okay. lately and I want to get your opinion or your thoughts on it okay gospel musicians women mm -hmm. we're getting a lot of heat, heat. you know either on kind of the way we dress uh -huh. um all the makeup and okay. you know you know body projections and all of these mm -hmm. things do you think that there's any truth to all the, you know, chatter out there about gospel musicians and how the women present themselves. It's like we're doing everything that everybody mm -hmm. else is doing. That's what, there's a lot of chit chat in mm -hmm. okay. about that. Okay, so I think, honestly, I think it's like, it's a Ghanaian thing. Eh. Ghanaians do not like change. Old fashioned way, that's what we want. We don't like change. And I'm, I'm not, the way you're looking at me, I'm even... Gan no, on no, the no, real, no. Ghanaians do not like change. When it comes to Ghana mm -hmm. or citizens of Ghana, mm -hmm. we want to like we we want to be the the same as we are. We like to appreciate other people. We can see jo Juanita Bynum. We can see Cici Winans. I mean, we we I've watched their current videos. I've watched their current videos and mm -hmm. their previous videos. When you wear the two, you can see that oh. Now, I mean, um, the, 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 their outfits and most of the things that they, they are doing in their current videos are not the same as, you know, they were the, 10 years ago. 10 years yeah. ago. But right here in Ghana, it is, it is not like that. People are expecting us to, you know, wear those like, um, uh, big, big hair gears, mm -hmm. no makeup, you know, and they feel that that is what, uh, depicts Holiness. Your holiness, <laughs> which has nothing to do, you know, with even the Bible says that God um, looks does not look at the outward appearance. He looks in the inside. Somebody can wear uh, there's this dress called Julumi. Somebody can wear that, yeah. you know, full attire from, from head, head to, to toe. toe. But the intention, the mind that she um, uh, he may have, you'll be shocked. You yeah. will be shocked. No, that's the so person, those no. things for me are like deceiving. That's probably the person that will say, Tenkanya, sorry, them near one camera with Exactly. <laughs> Somebody can go to church and uh, listen to like uh, sermons, pray like heaven is coming down. But at the end of the day, you know, Nipana character is not something to write home about. So those things, I mean, if you're doing it, yes, you can do it. But it is, for me, it is good that you you do you do not do something that will um like uh, be like a hindrance to somebody oh, no. exactly like what i'm uh what i'm wearing right now mm -hmm. you know my makeup and everything for me i like it yes and, and it's it beautiful too. thank it's you beautiful. and it's beautiful yeah. and it, it, it represents who i am following and who uh, who i am there is no way you look at my makeup and go like it is too much. Some people, you know, I'm a, I'm a beautician. Yes. And um, I realized that when I went into the industry, I realized that a lot of people do not know the difference between the makeup, you know, the types of makeup. So they just wear it as and when they want to wear it. Oh. But because I am a professional, I know what to do and what not to do, like right. the do's and don'ts. Okay. So I feel that we, we, we also need to, you know, educate ourselves when it comes to these kind of things. The way we shoot, even the way we shoot our videos, 
it's not the same, not the same. as like mm -hmm. the previous you know videos first you could change your flowers home see your home oh yeah you, you can understand. <laughs> i mean it has changed it has changed when you watch our current video you know some of these um are like our artists my colleagues joe metal cc chum myself mm -hmm. if it grace when you watch our videos you go like wow yeah. the engineers now flowers from you essentially we should just learn to embrace the change is what you're saying oh yes things yes. things have changed things have changed and like i said we we need to you know um educate ourselves a lot mm -hmm. right now the world has become a global village mm -hmm. and um new things are you know popping up all the time so we need to change and i thank god that um um we are we are a work in progress but i mean so far so good. So good. Flowers ne in Puano ne agreed. And yeah, Puano ne flowers ne free. So we 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 we're just saying, you know, embrace the change, right? And that you know, things are not the same anymore mm -hmm. as they were ten years ago. Mm -hmm. um, as long as we're still focused on 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 God and mm -hmm. delivering mm -hmm. the message that He gives to mm -hmm. us. And not compromising on right. our stand right. and, and morals, right. then mm -hmm. absolutely. Yes. Exactly. Awesome, awesome. So, before we wrap up this segment, I want to ask if you can give us your final words to so someone that's watching you out there. You've been doing this for many, mm -hmm. many years. Mm -hmm. What are some of the tidbits or advice, so to speak, that you give to someone that's looking to come into mainstream gospel music? Okay, so um, what I would tell that person watching me right now is to wait on God's time. Because the Bible says that in his time, he makes all things beautiful. And the Bible also says that he will do exceedingly, abundantly above what you could ever ask or think. So wait patiently for God's time because in his time, he makes all things beautiful. I am a product of grace and I know that you can be that too. Awesome. Diana, thank you so much thank for coming. Thank you for having me. I have loved every bit of this conversation, <laughs> but pleasure. we're not done yet. Really? We're not done yet. We have our, um, just a quick, 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 quick segment we've okay. called Quick Five. Okay. Where I get to ask you five quick questions. You get to answer them quickly in 30 seconds. Like, you know, if you have an <laughs> let me, to let, like, think let me, about let me, it or anything of that sort, just... Let me fix myself. <laughs> So we're going to go into quick five, everybody. Scissors. All right, so it's quick five. Jana, are you ready? Ah, I'm trying to settle. Okay. You'll be fine. You'll be Let's fine. go. Ah. Fine. Who's your favorite artist? Just one. Dinah Hamilton. Dinah Hamilton. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. All right. So, honorarium or a pronouncement of blessing? Which one would you pick? Hey, a pronouncement of blessing, of course. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. So, will you choose a family or ministry, given the chance? Ha! Huh. <laughs> That's tough. It's meant to be tough. That's tough. <laughs> it's ministry, meant family. to be Oh. Ministry, family. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll choose ministry. I know that God will protect and take care of my family, so I'll choose ministry. Okay, 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 okay. Family, awesome. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, they understand. They are in ministry to see. They understand. They when I die, it. I want to go to heaven. <laughs> okay, this one is an interesting one. Okay. So, $10,000 for a gig in the US mm -hmm. or a concert at a village. Village, yes, for a um, revival crusade, like a revival crusade at the village concert in US 10,000. No, don't forget that part, yeah. 10,000, yeah. Of course, I'll, I'll, I'll choose the 10,000. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you, honestly, you honestly, know. like I don't like traveling all the way to the villages, and moreover, our roads are not good. <laughs> so, for me to die, I'll die in the 10,000. <laughs> Almost just a quiet now. Almost just a quiet now. End of story. <laughs> okay. Okay. Last, last and final question okay. for the quick five. Mm. Would you use your honorarium to support a charity event or for your next project? Charity. 
Straight up. Love you, girl. Love you. <laughs> Jayana, thank you so much for thank coming to you the for having me. It's been awesome, awesome having you on. Yes. And I can't wait for you to bless us with the ministration. Amen. I can't All wait. Right. I know God. that people are excited and cannot wait. <laughs> The yes. stage is set for you. Thank you. I'm all fired up. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs>
rice with egg stew. Nice, nice. Yes. And so I see your ingredients here. What mm. are we working with today? Okay, so um, I have my rice, uh, my uh, blended tomatoes, uh, my mixed uh, pepper, um, ginger, garlic. Okay. I also have my uh, green pepper, carrots, okay. tomatoes, um, the tomato puree, my macro, my powdered pepper, okay. then the salt to taste, okay. then the um, maggi, seasoning. the seasoning, and then the vegetable oil. Okay. Nice, nice. I can't wait for us to get started. I, I am want, so I ready. I want to learn your recipe. I'm so, so ready. let's wash our hands and get started. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Simple to make. Yes. Like you can whip it together in under 30 minutes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I can't wait. I can't wait to taste the food. Mm -hmm. So let me serve you since you're my guest. <laughs> and while I do that, can you share your social media handles with our audience so they can follow you? Okay. So if you're watching me and uh, you want to follow me on social media, you can. Um, follow me on Instagram at Jayana Music, and the spelling for Jayana is J A Y A N A, J A Y A N A. Then you attach the music to it on Instagram, and then on Twitter is Jayana Music G H, and then on Facebook is Jayana Music slash Jayana Ministry. You can also stream for my songs on all the digital platforms. Mm -hmm. You can get my videos on YouTube at Jayana. Music. Just to make a sentence, I want to be fast so I can eat the food. Eat the food. <laughs> See, guys, you have no idea. When you're cooking the food, you're smelling the aroma. I mean, when my guest is cooking, oh. I, I don't really cook. You're smelling the food, right? The aroma, it's like, oh my God, I can't wait to dig in tea. We're, get, we're ready mm. to eat um. now. But before we do, I want to take the time to thank all my sponsors. I want to thank Hall of Peters for my beautiful outfit, Jana. You should totally reach out to him. Yeah. He's awesome. He will uh, style you very beautifully. And also, we want to thank D. Savory for feeding our crew in-house. And, of course, Elogio Studios for the quality sound. Contact them for all your music needs. If you have a concert or if you have to need to have a rehearsal or live recording, 
contact Elogio Studios. And of course, the A1 production crew, Pick One Productions, for all your production needs. Hi, Darren. I am ready to eat. I was waiting for you to finish so that I... But can you pray before we eat? Father, bless this food for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's dig in. <laughs> All right. I think you go. should eat first. You ready? Mm. Okay. For feedback, eh? Uh, yes. Mm. Let me go. This is delicious. Thank you. I don't know. Mm, what kind of onions do you use? So sweet. Mm. Diana onion. I cook the food myself, but I can't say I can't help them. Oh my god. No, it says like wait, 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 wait. Oh. I, wait like, Where are you going? Wait, wait, this is like Where are you going? Oh my oh. god. Oh my. This is the local change it, change The change local change way, change like the local way. I can't, I can't do me, the fork now. I can't do the fork. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Thank you for joining today's episode of Sizzles. Diana, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for having me. We'll see you next time for We'll see you next time for another Sizzling episode of Sizzles! Sizzles! We'll see you next time. Bye everybody.